Even if the good doesn't seem good I'll stick together forever Cause we young in love, that's true And we we'll always talk about our feelings Through and through Cause it's me and you Guys, good morning. Welcome uh, back. It's been a bit. What's the time now? It's about six thirty in the AM, and I'm going to try something new today. We're going to do a day in the life of me. So, as I said, vlogging's been quite hard. Having what I thought was a newborn, throw a ten-month-old in there, and if I've got one hair spare for a camera, I'll go fucking hey, because. The amount of fucking blueberries and little bowls of avocado, dummies, little Marty, Arlo, all of his mates, toys. <laughs> There's no room for a count. Anyway, so i got a mate. I'm going to go pick him up now and we're going to do a day in the life vlog. He's going to come follow me around and if this goes well, if we enjoy it, if all is great, then I might do this once or twice a week. So this is the test of video. See if it's interesting. We'll uh, show you what I get up to in a day. Alright, uh, first stop is morning coffee. Got Noah here. And we got Darren up the back on the blower. <laughs> Alright, guys. Here he is. Sammy, this is who's going to be coming around me and filming. But I've just uh, rocked up to boxing. So, it's a bit weird. let's have a go. I, um, I've been doing this now for. What is it now, July? I'd say probably six months. Three, three, four times a week. So, let's see if we've improved, shall we? Alright, so this is my boxing gym. CMBT Centre down in Burley. This is me coach, Benny Marnie. He's training the king of real estate up here. Yes, Yes. Yes. Nice long with the right hand. Don't lift it. Yes. Nice long with the right hand. Don't lift it. Yes. 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 Vish is always learning, he's always listening, which is really good. Not really a day that he doesn't apply something that we go through, which is good. It's going to get him sparring again. That's the flows we've been working on. That's the tiring shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now for my favourite time of the morning. I've yet to see Artie. <coughs> So it turns out Artie's asleep, but I just remembered I actually haven't, um, why is it so zoomed in? I haven't showed you guys the, um, the cinema room yet, so. Here it is. The cinema room. Someone's been staying here. I don't know who it is, but could be me. We've got the snack bar. And my little slice of heaven. We're gonna go get something to eat now because I got my next training in just under two hours. I also want to talk to everyone about something that I'm running at the moment. 
So it's an eight week challenge. It starts on the 19th of July, but you can sign up from now. So Equolution, right? I've used these guys for about four years. It's flexible dieting, 80% whole food, 20% soul food. But they have expanded and grown heaps since when I first used to use them back in the day. And I'll tell you why the service is so good. So they've got an in-app nutritional coach, right? So basically when I'm out for breakfast, like right now, if I'm at it and I want to have something else, but I want to fit it into my macros, I'll just text in-app to their live nutritionists and ask them, hey, um, what can I have on the That's menu? So and they'll fit it into your, uh, wow. into your macros, shit like that. And, and like, straight away. Yeah, and I, I'm a bit of a lazy dieter, you know what I mean? So it's like... Uh, like, I want the results, but fuck, I love going out for brekkie, I love going out for lunch, I love doing shit like that. But yeah, over the next eight weeks, I'm running a challenge, and winner can win five grand cash. So, I don't know about you, but I'm joining. I'm joining the challenge too. I'm putting in the work for the next eight weeks. I'm going to go fucking hard. So, if you want to come join me on that, I'll leave the um, details in the description, but... Um, yeah, five G's. Five G's to the winner, man. Five G's. So if you five look at this, look at it exactly. That's <laughs> a good, good mindset there, Sammy. This is the way I would look at it personally. I would go, great. Someone's going to pay me yeah. five grand to be fit as fuck for the next two months. You'd go and you tell man. yourself that you're the winner before you started. Yeah. You'd put your head down. Yeah. Have to be all in, but all in. But what's two months in your life? You yeah, know what yeah. I mean. You can. You're. You put in two months now, that two months could, that could fucking slingshot you eight months ahead. <laughs> a, a solid two months is very underrated. I've had a solid yeah, wow. 12 months, and let me tell you, that's underrated. I'm, a, I'm, I'm obsessed. This is. Yeah. Chloe, yourself? Yeah, good. So, the empties? Give me a fucking heart attack. Hi, yeah. Hi, good morning. How are you? Yeah, good. Oh, good. Long time no see, huh? I know, it's been a while. Yeah. Good morning, Ed. Thanks for opening the garage. That's all right. Hey, mate, how you doing? Yeah, that's yeah, it. How, how you, how you going? You? Good. Yeah, he's good. Not too bad. Artie, hello. Artie, how are you? Cool. How Isn't are you, it? Artie? Artie, say hello. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know me. <laughs> He does with mommy. I love you. We're just about to go get coffee. That's okay. You want to go with mommy to go get a coffee? Um, yeah, so, bit of an update. Things still haven't been great for me and Chloe, to be honest. We, um, we've been going through it still. I think since we've had Artie, like, I don't know, you hear, you hear it many times like people say the romance goes and all that stuff and I think I think what we worked out was we both really weren't too romantic people to begin with and now as a kid in the mix it's really made it um a bit more obvious so there's some shit we're working through and between we still get along house on fire it's my best mate I love it a bit but we just need to uh work through the romance at the moment and see if something's still there but been a tough, tough last few months, month to six weeks, just working through. That's the real, the real side of it, I guess. Nothing fucking easy, but I reckon about four weeks ago, I was of the mindset where I was like, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't sort of thing. But now I'm like, fuck, like, I don't know, it's got a really good feeling about it all. And I feel like... A bit of space and a bit of time. Work on yourself. Mm. I think I used to always use these times to go backwards when shit get tough. I'd always fucking go off the rails, go on a bender, make a mistake, do the wrong thing. You know what I mean? Just always go backwards and play victim to it. Whereas, well, fuck, I'm using it as a time to get ahead now. Like, well, Lino mentioned it the other day. He's like leaning into it. Yep. Leaning into it. That's what you're doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. Both so, of you are doing. Yeah, we're both doing it. And I don't know, when you give your partner that trust as well, like I think it's like a trusting thing. Like I've basically trusted to let Chloe go 
to find herself. And if she finds herself without me, I, I want her to do that. You know what I mean? If she gets happy like that, then it's meant to be. But if she doesn't, then obviously I'll always um. She's allowing that for you as well. But she's allowing that exactly in return for me. So it's a it's a it's a weird thing with us too because we met five years ago. She was sixteen. So, oh, wow. we grew up very young, we trauma bonded over a lot of shit, got very comfortable over a lot of shit, and we've been through a lot of shit, so, just working through it, and that's the, uh, that's the reality of it, but when you got kids in a family now, that's where your priorities sit, so. But that's like, with life, nothing's ever simple, is it? No. And it's about working through those types of things, in anything, work, fitness. It's just adversity, mm. how you show up for it. And that's the thing, I think I used to always try to show up for the other people in those situations, whereas now I show up for myself. If you show up for yourself, you can't fucking lose. Never. If you, every day you're putting your foot forward instead of backwards, show up for yourself. Even in the hardest of times, like, you just keep showing up for yourself. Even like, so, like, we had a pretty, pretty, like, real conversation on Monday, me and Chloe. And it was pretty harsh. Hard for me to hear, mostly. But I remember, like, I was ready. It was, it was like, 9 o'clock in the morning. I was just, like, fucking in the worst headspace. 11 o'clock. Went for a run. Normally 3K. Ended up doing 10K. Really good time. Pace, everything. Bang. My mind, my focus had reset. Shifted. I felt fucking great. I felt invincible. I knew what I needed to do. I was thinking clearly. Mm. Like, and it's, cr like, just shows, like, when you get your mind to a position where you stop playing victim and you start to just really say, how can I fix this situation? How can I change this situation? How can I take responsibility? How can I take accountability to make it better? Shit starts to move in favour for you, not, mm. not against... So, like, even now, like, fuck, I feel, feel good, you know what I mean? Like, I feel great about the direction I'm going still, even though, like, this should be a pretty yeah. you know, hard and weird and tough time, but, you know, I feel like... But it's the decisions that you're doing, like, you're not going to get on the piss, you, you know, mm -hmm. you're not going eating junk food, like, you're going out, like, boxing this morning, Yeah. you do your runs every day, and that's what I think a lot of people, you know, unfortunately, when things get tough, they, they tend to want to go backwards. go backwards and go to a comfort, uh -huh. but realistically, that comfort isn't good for them, and that's it makes why, things worse. And that's why I talk about discipline being such an important thing, because it's finding comfort in that chaos. Mm. Oh, I now... With running. Today will be my 193rd day in a row running 3K. I hated running. I fucking hated it. At the start of the year, the reason I did it every day was because Mike Tyson said, discipline is finding something you hate, doing it mm. every day like you love it. I was like, I fucking hate running. Perfect. Let's do it every day. Now, 190 days in, I literally, I think I would actually pass out if I didn't run. My mind wouldn't be able to deal with it. <laughs> Your like, day just, wouldn't be complete. My day wouldn't be complete. I'd be laying in bed, like, itching, like, I need to run. Like, that's where I'm at now. Well, it's, it's part of your day. It's part of my day. It's like brushing your teeth. I don't do that. I fucking, I'm more, <laughs> I'm more disciplined with running than I am brushing my teeth. <laughs> Have you brushed them today? No. <laughs> all right, well. That's all right. There's some real shit for you. So, so like me and Sam, I shut off the camera and we just had like a little dialogue chat mm. then about like, because Sam was like, I just took so much value from that because he's yeah. like, imagine like every time you do get a fight with your missus, I do do that, I do get on the piss or I do do that, I do, what would happen if I put a foot forward instead of yeah. a foot backwards? So, there's my thing. So, next time life gets hard, next time you get in an argument with your missus, next time you just genuinely do not feel like showing up for yourself, you want to write yourself off, you want to do that, mm. do the opposite. Push your fucking mind, push your body to a place you've never taken it, but in a positive way, yep. and you'll get the exact same feeling, but a far better reward. Yep. All right, so it's 9.50. I've just stopped off home now. I've got weights in a second, so I just had to quickly come home and take my pre-workout. I use Happy Ways All Natural Pre-Workout. So there is green apple and pineapple. Pineapple's my favorite. Favorite part before I get in, always get the pre done in the car. Usually doing it probably about a minute before I get here. Music's cranking, Scarlet to a bit of lane switcher. It's probably my favorite song at the moment. <sighs> All right guys, so that is the pineapple happy way pre-workout. I'll leave the uh, link in the description. 
my discount code is Happy Mitch, and yeah, that will give you a discount. So come train with me. Relax. Knees out. One more. Hold. Head on. Still up, bud. Good one. I'll hold a couple reps. Two. One more. Feel this one. Good form, remember? Yep. Rock a little bit forward. And that's it. Pull back. Elbows back. Five more. Next step. All done, man. Uh, two more sets. Two more sets to finish. Yeah, two more sets and we're done. And then we're on Artie duty, baby. It's George. George. Artie slash George. <laughs> George and Artie. Who George is? Yeah, George yeah. is Artie. Yeah. I call him George. <laughs> <laughs> I call him George so much on Insta, my PT legit thought his name was George. <laughs> so Artie's just working out. Hello, baby. Hello. Did he say hello? Boy, hello. Come on. Oh, hi. Can you say hi? We're gonna go get some lunch. Daddy's gonna go get his lunch, and we'll get you some blueberries and some avocado in the shops, won't we? Won't we? You ready? Yeah. What? You don't know who that is standing in a room door. He loves his just avo, avo hand rolls, the baby rolls. Dummy's <laughs> out. He's hungry. It's okay. Patience for Ati. Half for Ati. Good boy, this sounds a bit slippery for you, ain't it? Mmm, now a bit of avo too. He loves feeding himself now, so like I used to always put it into his mouth, but now he'll just not, he'll hit it away until he can put it into his little, his little clampers. <laughs> you eating that, bro? His other favourite snack in the world. What is it, Addy? Car? Aki? Huh? Blueberries are his favourite thing in the world. As long as you got a pound of the blueberries on you, you're always safe. So, lunch today is Mitch's Mad Mexican Pasta Bake. So I'm going to go through, get all the ingredients for that, and then whip it up for lunch. Is this it? Ati, knuckles for that? Ati, cut? I love you! I love you! He's about to, aren't ya? Dead! 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 These are the smart switches in which you'll learn about getting educated with food. So smart protein penne. So you haven't you haven't pastas and you eating carbs, but the smart the smart switches is where you save calories. It's fucking nuts, but you will learn. Penne, penne in the in the twally. Look, I'll come get you.
Sorry. <laughs> So there is the finished product of the Mexican pasta bake, macro friendly. And tell me that does not look delicious. All right, so that is just an example of one of the macro friendly meals that will be on the meal plan. And eight weeks of eating stuff like that and losing weight doesn't look too hard to me if you ask me. So bit of discipline and a uh, bit of organization on your food prep and you'll be eating some tasty meals and the results will follow that, I promise. Got lunch in. This is normally where you hit the wall, especially on the three training days. Sometimes, most of the time, it's normally a block or two. It's probably some two or three times it might overlap a week. Two, two times max probably overlap a week with the three which is boxing, weights, and running, and that is today. So, when you get to this time, it's about, what, the two o'clock, you always start to hit a bit of a wall. I, um, I generally do uh, a bit of breath work, which is just the 33 breath reset, get me back present, gives me a bit of energy, and then I'll take off. So I'll go through the breath work and what I do, literally 33 breaths, and then, um, yeah, we'll take off for the trot, and see what pace we go for today so yeah day 190 193 or 194 i'm pretty sure it's day 194 of 3k a day every day and yeah i'm starting to run some pretty fucking nuts times i am um, even on monday i did 10k in 44 minutes That's just amazing added another seven on top so it was four minute three pace for 10k but my three for 3k my best time has been 329 pace and How was it when you started and when i started it was off oh, 530 crazy i i remember i've got a screenshot in my camera roll where it took me five minutes and 55 seconds to run 1k but as you're saying like you've had a big day it's friday it's a bit gloomy it's so easy to just nestle up into that cinema room well, it's never an option it's never an option it's never an option I'll never not do the run. No. You couldn't. No way. No way. But I feel like, you know, being Friday, a lot of people, they go and have a beer after work. But it's like, that's okay too. That's but it's okay, like, yeah. why don't you go after work, fucking 60 minutes, put your mind to something. 15 minutes. 15 minutes even. Fucking put your mind to it. Be proud of your achievement. Yeah. Push yourself when you finish. Have a beer. Feel great. Then you've earned the beer. <laughs> you deserve the beer. Enjoy the beer. I myself, I don't. But you know what? You can. Earning something is so much better than fucking just taking it. It literally would take 15 minutes. 15. You could, in 15 minutes, you can fucking run fast and far, and anyone can be fucked in 15 minutes. <laughs> So I got this one off the Cool To Be Conscious boys, Rue and Ryan. They, um, I took this one from the first ever seminar that they took me for. And it fucking works. 33 breaths, mouth breaths. And then three breaths in through your nose. Out through your mouth. And then on your exhale, hold. You gonna join me? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. For sure. How good is that buzzing feeling when you hold? Let's fucking trot, baby. Let's fucking trot. Let's go. 3K trot, Sam's on the bike.
Yeah, so this is hitting the 3.30 pace now. So I'll be looking at a hum and finish if we keep up that pace. Holding the pace. Work, brother. Almost a K to go, that's it. <sighs> Ten thirty. How you feeling? Fucking hell, man, that camera dying almost tilted me, hey. Oh no. <sighs> Cameraman's telling me, wipe the face. <sighs> what does this run and give you? You just conquered. You conquer something, bro. Like, that's me versus me, every time. Me versus me, I can make it as easy as I want or as hard as I want. As long as I do the three Ks. You know how many days I go out there and I'm like fucking gonna take it easy today? And as soon as I take that first step, I'm gonna spring in it and can't slow down. I'm addicted. I fucking love it. Alright, so as you know, the camera died on the end of the uh the three K. But I'm gonna leave it here. That is a day in the life done. It's probably one of the busiest sort of training days, but it's uh, usually either that or I drop one session, whether that be weights or boxing. But it's, uh, yeah, there's a look in the day of that. I've got a little bit of work to do now too. I'm um, currently planning a retreat in Sunshine Coast with Journey Retreats. Right, so what I can tell you is the dates are definitely going to be between November 13th to November 19th. So if you think this might be up your alley, black them out and... Uh, Hopefully look forward to seeing you. But yeah, I don't know. If you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments. Like it. And yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a different day, but I'm interested to see how it went. Yeah, give me some feedback. I'm, uh, I'm all ears. And there's Chloe. Chloe's had a busy day. He's out here. Oh, you see the camera, buddy. Are you going to come together? <laughs> come in capacity? Come on. Come on, booby. Yes, there's daddy. Love you, buddy. Alright, say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.